Yeah, welcome back to my channel guys and today I have another story very important one um, just stay tuned to the end and get the full story so this story is about Jamaica first gunman and surprisingly people may think about some of them Kingston gangster um, in our own Kingston and St. Anjo this man was actually way before that this man story go back almost 70 years ago so jamaica first gunman was vincent ivano martin commonly known as Reagan. so vincent martin was born in 1924 in the rural parish of saint catherine but in the lindsay district um he moved to kingston at the age of about 12 years old and ending up being a part of a local gang so by the time Ragin get 14 Ragin already um, charged for wounded um, he get a small sentence and was out on the street again a year after again Ragin was charged for wounding and larceny so Ragin ended up get a year in prison and after after I came out from prison, Reagan committed a robbery um, with wounded again. He ended up getting five years in prison and ended up escaping from prison again. So Reagan became um, became popular when he was wanted for several robberies. So Reagan was hanging out at a hotel in Kingston. At the hotel was called the Carib Hotel. But some informant actually sold out Reagan to the police, right? So while Reagan was inside the hotel with a lady, um, apparently naked, um, the police burst onto Reagan. Um, so they might try to corner Reagan. Reagan managed to grab a gun. I'm sh and shoot him way out of the hotel. After the shooting subsided and the smoke clear, three men was shot. A uh, detective, um, Corporal, was killed and two other men was wounded. And Reagan made his escape from the hotel. Um, so now Reagan become a wanted man. The police have look for Reagan. The next day, Reagan went to the home of another a man called Golson. Golson was the man who Reagan thing set him up with the police at the hotel. So when Reagan went to the home of the of Golson um, with the intention to kill Golson, Golson was not there. Um, there was his girlfriend was there. Reagan interrogate, interrogate the girlfriend and asked the girlfriend to bring him Reagan to um to the guy and the girlfriend denied. Reagan killed her on the spot. There was two other ladies, uh, some friends of the, of the girlfriend, they were also shot. Um, so now Reagan is Jamaican, most wanted man. That's still 1940s, 72 years ago. So at the time, um, Bustamante was in power. I think, it was a, I, don't, I think it was a May of King Song. But Bustamante launched a manhunt and put out a 200 pound reward for Reagan. That was pound years. That was long before independence. That's 1940s. So Reagan continued um, eluding everybody. And he continued like every other week. There was some shooting. There was some robbery. And Reagan made the, the major news. Reagan also wanted to become become famous. So Reagan actually went to a photographer to get a photograph of him with a gun. And then the picture went to the Jamaica Gleaner and it was posted all over to to um you know to show that hey I'm not scared of the police. Reagan went as far as to write a letter to the Jamaican police. So he writes a letter to the Jamaican police 
showing all to viewers. Um, this is the actual letter I'm going to read for you know what Reagan write to the police. This is Reagan um, written words. I have an arsenal of 29 shots and I am satisfied that I have made history for the criminal element in Jamaica. Don't think I am going to kill myself because this will only serve to spoil my great record. But I hope Detective Scott will train his man more. I am going to show the police force what is lacking and what I can do. So Detective Scott was actually the um, commissioner of police at the time. That was so long that it was actually um, way before we, have, we even have black cops in Jamaica. They were normally being controlled by England. So Reagan continued um, on the crime spree. He became wanted. Police hunted him, but for some reason, they can't find Reagan. Reagan was a very sharp guy, right? So what Reagan did was to wear a uh, was to wear a uh, high heel shoes to make himself look taller to disguise from the police. But Reagan is a man who ever watching it back. So every time Reagan walk, every three step he make the, the him look back at him. But him um end up running back from Kingston and go back to Linstead. And then the police come after Reagan and Linstead and he run back to Kingston again. But Reagan Keep on making the headline. Keep on making the headline. So there was um there was multiple robberies. There was multiple robberies, multiple shooting. Um everything went was 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 pointing to Reagan. Um we don't really know if everything was actually done by him, but apparently because he was the most wanted man at the time, um whatever robbery go on in and around Kingston would be blamed on him. So, um, so Reagan was actually planning to go to to Cuba, as what as what my research said, right? He was trying to go to Cuba. So he needed money to actually to actually sponsor his trip to pay for um, everything he needed his escape um, to Cuba. So. Reagan went to a hotel and he robbed the hotel. He actually, I think, shot somebody again. And, he, and he's on the news, constantly on the news. So, that was, uh, and so Reagan, that Reagan was, I think, in his early 20s at the time. Because that was 1946 coming up. That was <laughs> just look after World War II. But, the, the strange thing about Reagan as a gangster, Reagan was keep on talking to the press. He keep on talking to the press um, because he wanted to get his story out. Because maybe he feel that the, the news was not giving giving up giving him enough rotation, so he actually he actually um keep kept talking to the press to make sure. His story was actually told the way the way he wanted to be told. So Reagan was elusive. So he was hiding, hiding. Police put on multiple rewards. Um, they could get him. Um, during the whole of the time again, Reagan killed another man, a man called Jonathan Thomas. He was actually a friend of Reagan and. For some reason, Reagan think he was an farmer, so he was walking with his wife, and Reagan attacked him. Um, Reagan attacked him, and he got shot, but he survived. Another man who was on the scene, Selvin Maxwell, was attacked again, because maybe Reagan think he was a witness, and he and Reagan had a wrestling, and he actually um, take away the firearm from Reagan. But Reagan ended up taking away the man's car, and then escaping with the car. Um, then he went to Mirbone's corner and he helped a security guard and he committed another robbery in Russell Road. Um, so that was just another robbery again, another robbery after robbery. But the thing, I, the, the, the point I'm trying to make in this video, 
um, the things that Reagan did in the 1940s was almost like a movie. Because even today, with with modern, um, more modern criminal, some of them are not even as brazen as Reagan. So Reagan was way above um, any kind of badness that's going on now. Because he, he was taking it to the police. He was taking it to the police. He was taking it to the informers. If you can't find informers, he, he's taking it to them families. So it's like anything coming to Reagan way. Reagan, I'm going to move at it. Okay, so Reagan continue being elusive. Still on the, on the wanted list, soldier and police and patrol um, trying to get Reagan. So the last part of the story was Reagan ending up um, in Lime Key. So apparently he was trying to get a boat to leave Jamaica. But for some reason, the informant um, set him up the railway and the police, like over a hundred police, they actually stormed the key. Um, Reagan did not give up. The, they, had, they had a shootout. The shootout lasted more than half an hour. Um, after the shootout, Reagan was taken down. So Reagan was was um, was killed in 1948. In September 1948, Reagan was killed. When Reagan was killed, the story didn't stop there. The news took Jamaica by storm. Reagan was like a era. Um, it was like a modern. It was like a modern day Robin Hood. People were just, you know, um, talking about the story. After after all after all, all of the the whole chaos and the mayhem and the shooting, when Reagan's body was held at the funeral home, there were like thousands of people from all over the country just trying to see what the man looked like. Because this man, you know, who is this man to be so elusive, taking on the cops, taking on everybody? Um, and people in the in the music in the music industry were started to do song, doing songs about Reagan. Um, even even the movie, the popular Jamaican movie, The Harder They Come, was inspired by the story of Reagan. That's why if you notice in The Harder They Come, they call Jimmy Cliff Ivan. Because remember, Reagan was Vincent Ivan O. Martin. So that's why they call Jimmy Cliff the um, Ivan into the movie. Actually, the, 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 whole, the Harder They Come movie was inspired by the whole story of Reagan. So as I say, I am not trying to condone wrongdoing and um, big gunman, just trying to shed light and pass on a story to who, persons who have never heard about it. Because most of us, um, before I know the story of Reagan, I think about um, crime in Jamaica, 60s, um, 70s, 80s coming up. That's the time when we, you know, aware of what's going on. But Reagan was 19. Reagan died September 1948. So. From 1948 to 2020, that's about 72 years ago, right? That's more. That's before most of us parents was born. So this man, this man did something that actually nobody did because in his time to be him attacking people, shooting the cops, um, shooting in farmers, stealing vehicle, escaping, shoot out the way out of a hotel naked. That's almost like a movie. Yeah man, so again, um, I just want to thank my viewers and subscribers, um, big up on yourself, and thank you for the support. If you guys were not listening and watching my videos, I would not be doing videos. So I just want to big up on yourself and share the video and like it. Um, if, you have a, if you have a story, there's an email and in my channel at the top where you see about, you can see my email. If you, if you have a story, you could actually send me the stories. Um, I am I am starting a new thing also. Anybody have an interesting story, you can send me the story by email. If you have like any kind of story, a family problem, and and I can actually just read the story and I can read it in the story. So if you have a good story, send it to me. Yeah, man. So blessed. Have a good day, people. One love, peace. I'm out. Bless up.